Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, then welcome to my channel. I hope you guys like what you see. And if you're not yet subscribed, don't forget to click that red subscribe button down below. So in today's video, I want to show you guys how I made this um, mermaid card. So I literally just made these two uh, mermaid cards and I just designed the file in um, silhouette. So I am using my silhouette cutting machine for some of this as well. But I want to show you guys like how I made this because you can also do it by hand. You could easily just make like a mermaid tail and uh, have like a folded piece of paper and then cut it out and that will be like your mermaid card. So either way, you guys can still do this. I want to show you guys how I made it because this is just like the most beautiful thing in the world. I'm so happy with how this turned out. It was literally like a one, two, three kind of thing and it just looks gorgeous. I love it so much. So on my computer here, I have designed all the files. This is going to be my card base right here. This is going to be um, kind of like the inside, the, the kind of writing part. This is going to be where I put um, the scales on, which I'll show you guys how I do that. And then this I put in yellow because this I'm going to cut out in gold, like gold glitter paper. So I'm going to move these guys aside. And I'm first just going to do my two card bases and I have to change the size of um, my paper to a 12 by 12. Okay, so I got a 12 by 12 paper. I'm just going to move it um, in the middle but off to the left because I want to like save this other, other um, paper. We don't need to use that if we don't need it. So I'm going to cut out these two and I'm going to be using this cardstock. So this is 12 by 12, 100 pound cover cardstock in the color teal blue. And the brand is um, Clear Path Paper. I will have a link down below because I'm pretty sure I purchased this on Amazon. So I'm going to grab one of these and I'm going to put it onto my silhouette mat or my cry cut mat, but I'm using it with a silhouette machine. It's just the cry cut ones are cheaper. Okay, so I have my paper on the mat and in my machine. Then I'm just gonna go over here. I'm gonna click on this little send to silhouette icon right there. I'll get this pop-up window and I'm just gonna select um, cardstock, heavy cardstock. Okay, so you guys can see here I had light cardstock. These are just like my own personal settings um, that I have created. So it's just a speed of 10 and a thickness of 33 and I do double click because this is some thicker um, paper. And then I'm going to click down here and send to silhouette and that's going to start cutting it out for me. Okay, so now that these are done cutting out, I'm just going to peel them away from the mat and I'm going to have nice uh, mermaid tail and I have it perforated down the middle so I could easily just fold it now. Okay, so I'm going to do the same steps but with the white paper now and then with my gold paper and I'm going to cut out all of those pieces before we start putting it together. And with the rest of this, I'm just going to take this off. I'm going to just rip off these edges because that part's garbage. And then this part I keep for another project later on, whether I want it for die cuts or whatever else. So this is like my scrap paper, I hold on to this. So I'm gonna put on the white piece of paper and put this into my machine. And like I said, we're just gonna repeat the steps with the white. So it's easy for me because I have like the colors already on here, so I know. I do have to change my paper back to a size eight and a half by 11. So letter paper and just like that. And then I'm gonna send this to Silhouette to cut on my white paper. Okay, so now that my white paper is done, I have a piece slit, looks like this. Now this is going to be where we put um, the fish kind of scales. So that's gonna, it's like a little offset on the inside. So that's gonna go there. And then we also have the bigger piece and this is gonna go on the inside of the card so that people could like write a sentiment or whatever it is. Okay, so I got those pieces, this is all garbage. And then um, my last piece is my tail. So the way that I had already designed it, it has like slits in it. If you do not have a silhouette machine, you could easily just create the slits um, or it's not gonna be like a slit slit, but um, you could easily just score um, lines onto the tail and that's gonna look just as good. 
Um, so I am using now Recollections Gold Glitter Cardstock. I'm going to tape this down because I do not want it to move. The tails are kind of a little intricate the way that I designed them, so I do not want um, my paper to move. So I'm just going to tape this down on all the corners. Okay, and I'm going to put this into my machine. Then I'm going to go back to my computer and I'm going to switch out the pattern. So I now want um, the tail, but I'm just going to do a few. Um, I'm going to do more than this because I'll probably end up making this card some more. And I'm using paper. It's not like eight and a half by 11. I'm just using like scrap paper. So I will change this to 12 by 12. Okay, and I'm just going to cut out a whole bunch because I'm loving making these cards. I think they're coming out so beautiful. Okay, I think that might be good. So I'm making a whole bunch. I'm just gonna cut these out. I'll be right back. <laughs> Alrighty, and now I have all of these mermaid tails cut out. So I'm just gonna take them off of this, um, the mat. And this is how they come out. Okay guys, so now that we have all of our pieces cut out, um, I'm going to take a bone folder and I'm just going to crease this a little further just so it kind of stays um, more closed than it did two seconds ago. I'm going to take my tail and I'm going to glue him on. So here I'm going to use a little bit of wet glue. I like to get the bottom and the edges. So it is a little bit offset because that's the way that I created it. So that's my tail. Then I'm going to take, um, not wet glue, I'm going to take a tape roller and I'm going to put tape on this guy, which is going to be our inside piece. So I'm going to put tape all over him just so I can stick him on the inside. Okay, so I'm going to paste him on the inside of my card. Okay, so that's now my inside of the card. Now we don't need this um, until later on, but I'm gonna take this other piece that we had cut out, which is the piece that's gonna go right here. And this is the piece that we're gonna decorate with our circles. So you guys could see I have all of my confetti here laid out. These are just one inch circles. I have a whole bunch of different colors. Now I, I always just have these because when I make cupcake toppers, um, the leftover like paper, I end up with a whole bunch of circles. So I literally just have like so many of these guys. It's ridiculous. So on this piece, I want to start from the bottom. That's where we're going to start decorating um, my card. And it's okay, or, or like my my mermaid piece, I guess. It's okay if it goes off a side off of the card. That's totally fine. Um, but we're just going to assemble our circles. So I'm going to start off like um, putting a little circle right there, then I'll do another one. You can overlap them a little bit, they don't have to overlap too much or anything. Um, then I'll add in a purple. You definitely want to make sure you get the edges though because when you put um, little scales on the edges. So I'm just, I'm not even following a pattern or anything. I'm just like organizing these to how I think is going to look good. And I'm kind of like not putting obviously two colors next to each other, but I'm just going all over the place. So Okay, so now what I do at this point is I just let this dry for a little bit, but as soon as it's dry, you wanna flip it over and you wanna cut along the white piece and cut off all of these circles that are around it. You just wanna cut them all off, obviously, so you want like a clean um, mermaid look. So I'll be back as soon as this dries a little bit and then I'll show you guys that part. Okay, so now that my, um, little piece was drying here and laying flat. I'm going to flip it over and I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut around this white now. Okay. 
Okay, so now we have our nice, uh, clean, kind of fishtail looking thing. And now I'm just gonna put some glue on the back of this and then we're gonna glue this onto our card. I'm gonna lay something flat on this overnight as well. I don't want it to, um, you know, uh, kind of warp a little bit. There's a lot of glue on here from all the fishtail kind of pieces that we were putting on. So I'm gonna lay them all flat. Um, now here you could either be finished, you could either add a ribbon around here and just like tie a ribbon around here and then like um, to the first uh, part of the back of the card. Or you could just use like a already little made ribbon and you could like glue something like that on here if you wanted to do something like that. Like there's so many different options that you now have to decorate it. You could also just add in um, like a word phrase, a sentiment with a little flag, um, anything you want, you could decorate it. But I'm just gonna leave these like this for now and then I'm gonna figure out what to do later. But I wanted to show you guys just how to make the um, mermaid card. I think they're so pretty guys. I'm just like so excited about this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you have not yet subscribed, please click that red subscribe button down below and don't forget to turn on your bell notifications so that you are notified anytime I post a video and you guys could see all the crafty things I've been up to. Uh, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!